Hey, this is Paul from Lush Bronze Guitars, and welcome to my shop. So what I have in front of me here is my, uh, <clears throat> my copy cover. What is a copy cover? Well, it carves the tops of my guitars. It copies from a blank or from a surrogate body uh, with this side, and it carves the one I want to carve on the other side. Basically, it has this stylus right here that is the same shape diameter as the bit that's on this side, it's an end mill, end mill bit. And what happens is you follow the curvature of the top of this body on this side with the stylus and the router bit will carve the actual body that you, that you want to carve. Now this thing is basically a, an X, a Y, and I don't really know that this is a Z, Z is so usually straight up and down, it's kind of a Z. And uh, basically, you can do a circle with this thing. Okay. Uh, this piece here, <clears throat> holding a stylus, has a brake on it. I've done things differently in the past. I used to have the brake uh, hold it to keep it from going this way in the X position. But now I've got it held so it won't, it won't go in the, in the Y position here. I've just changed the way I do things. So uh, basically, it's, right now it looks kind of barbaric. But it looked worse. <laughs> I used to have, now this thing's gone through some, some different changes throughout the years. So I built this thing in 2009, I think it was. It was around 2009. I didn't have these rails right here and these pillow blocks. I had this, uh, this rod and the pillow blocks under here. And I did something a little bit different up here for the stylus end. Uh, that's always been the same for the, the, router, the router holder. But right here, I used to have pipes, there were two inch pipes, and it had these wheels that had like a curve to them, so it kind of hugged the pipe a little bit. They were used for, uh, in the film industry, when they were, they would put rails down and they would have these cameras sitting on these platforms, and it would roll, like if somebody's walking down the sidewalk, and they, would take, they were filming them walking down the sidewalk or whatever. Uh, so I did away with that. It was a little etchy, it, it, it never bounced off, but, you could, it was really, what's the word I'm looking for, yaw, it would yaw a little bit. Never had any problems getting a good carve out of it, but I just didn't like it. So, uh, I saved up a little more money, and it's all about money, guys. And I got these rails, and these are, these are quite expensive. All this stuff's really expensive. But uh, at the time, I thought, you know, it's time to upgrade. So here we are again, want to upgrade. So I want to take all this wood stuff off and replace it with some aluminum stock and uh, then I'll be pretty happy with it I guess anyway so uh, in this video we're going to use all this the way it is and uh, I think when I do an upgrade on this I'll do a video for that it'll be cool for, for a video but uh, it's going to be one last time one last carve with this configuration and uh, what I have in the machine right now is a double cut carve top and uh, I'm going to show you how this is done. Uh, some things to, to note, it, <coughs> everything has a center line. The center line for that body and the center line for this body. Um, they, they have these clamps right here. And these clamps are the same on both sides. My bodies, the, the single cut and the double cut, are the same in this area and the same in this area. Of course, they're different up here. They're pretty much the same out here, too. Um, so these things kind of hug the body. I line everything up in the center line. It hugs the body. I tighten it down. Uh, then I take my stylus and my bit, and I run these in different spots, like the back of the body right here. Make sure they're accurate. I may go to the inside cuts here, inside cut here, and like that. And I make sure that everything's lined up, and I lock down this other side over here. Once that's all done. It's ready to carve. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this body back out. I'm going to put my taper template on it. It's a template that sits right on the body. It's a little narrower than the shape of the outline of the body. And I'm going to route an edge on it, kind of like doing binding. So I'm going to route down to uh, the thickness I want for the top, where it's going to still expose this maple top as a false binding. 
and it'll make sense when you see it. And then once that's done, I'll put it back in the machine and I'll carve it out. So one last thing too, I think I'm gonna upgrade these um, these clamps right here. They're cool, but I think I could come up with something better, something more. I don't know. It's, it works, but it's not what I it's not what I envisioned it. So I think I'll change it. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. pretty good it's got a pretty nice carve to it still rough I'll have to sand this with the DA sand I'll probably start out with some 80 grit work my way up and uh, everything will smooth out and balance out just right so uh, definitely uh, takes a lot of the, the work out of the uh, carving process when you use a copy carver so if you like what you saw here today go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with what's coming up next. I want to thank you for joining me here at Les Guitars. We'll cousin with what it's all about. And I will see you next time.